There is at least one Metro law enforcement agency not struggling to hire or retain officers. The Sandy Springs Police Department has full ranks, no vacancies. And how'd they do it? Fox 5's Morris Diggs tells us that paying beat officers six figures helps. Now the pay rate for police officers in Sandy Springs that we're going to show you, it is very attractive. But Mayor Rusty Paul tells me it goes beyond the police pay. It's the support, he says, the residents show for all of their officers. In Sandy Springs, a beat officer at the third year can earn $100,000. When I saw what Mayor Rusty Paul and his administration approved for compensation, I did a double take and decided to give him a call. The entire law enforcement community gets painted with the brush when one officer does something that they shouldn't do. Paul said with the climate that exists for all of law enforcement on the streets. Most of them are getting pressure from their families to get out of this occupation. Uh, they see how officers are often treated. I've had uh, uh, officers come in and, and say, look, my wife has told me uh, not to bring my police car home tonight. Sandy Springs, a small city of just 32 square miles, needed to quickly accelerate compensation to secure highly qualified cops. Here is a comparison to a large force in the metro, the city of Atlanta. Sandy Springs compensation is $12,000 to $32,000 higher for comparable slots. You've got to provide the incentive and w only one of them is pay. The other is uh, if you drive around Sandy Springs today, you'll see signs in people's yards. We support Sandy Springs police. And so as these officers drive around town on their patrols, they see signs in people's charge of support. Atlanta's mayor is Andre Dickens. Before he took office, he began visiting police roll calls, knowing trust and confidence had to be built. Last month, he made a budget announcement. We're implementing the first citywide cost of living adjustments in the last five years. And through the city's American Rescue Plan funding, we've also given bonuses to our police officers. A bonus for police on top of a 2% salary raise. A big city like Atlanta, of course, its compensation costs are significantly higher than a Sandy Springs because it has so many more police officers. But the Atlanta politicians hurt themselves in the area of trust when Atlanta officers see that their percentage increase, which is more important than a one-time bonus, won't even be paid until next January. From Northeast Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News.